finding HCF and LCM using fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Now this theorem has a large number of uh, practical application. The one which we look at is finding the HCF or the highest common factor and LCM the least common multiple using the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. This is a fairly simple task. Okay, Let's say for example I give you two numbers 84 and 144 and I tell you to find out the HCF and LCM of these two numbers. So what you need to do is as a first step you just write down these composite numbers okay as a factor of their primes right so let's say for example 84 we need to write down 144 we need to write down right so if I have to break down 84 into various prime numbers what do I do I will just first divide it by 7 I get 12 and then by 3 I get 4 by 2 I get 2 by 2 I get 1 this you've been doing for ages so I'm not getting into too many details around it but I've just written 84 as 7 times 3 times 2 squared now please note that I could have written this as 2 into 2 also right but the way we write this for finding the HCF and LCM is that whatever is this prime number we write down the power of that over here again if I have to break down 144 as a product of its prime numbers what do I do again break it down 2 times 72 again by 2 you get 36 you divide 72 by 2 36 by 2 I get 18 again by 2 I get 9 now by 3 I get 3 and by 3 I get 1 so I've got 3 squares and I've got 2 to the power 4 so I can write this down as 3 squares into 2 to the power 4 please note I've written this just beyond below actually the other number because that helps you to kind of find out the HCF and LCM we don't have any 7 in this so I can just write this as 7 to the power 0 here it is 1 here it is 1 right now in order to find out the HCF of two numbers 84 and 144 what I need to do is very simple you need to find out for each of these prime numbers okay what is the lowest power so let's say for example there are three prime numbers over here 7 3 and 2 right we have to multiply this in such a manner that we pick up the power of each of these prime number which is the least okay sounds strange for the highest common factor you have to pick up the least of the power so let's say for 7 it is 0 and 1 obviously 0 is the lowest so I put in 0 for 3 1 is the lowest so I put in 1 over here right then not 2 for 2 here the power is 2 here the power is 4 the least one is 2 so I just put in 2 right and this gives me 7 to the power 0 is 1 1 times 3 3 into 2 to the power 2 is 4 3 times 4 gives you 12 so the highest common factor of 84 and 144 is actually 12 right when it comes to the least common multiple of 84 and 144 we again do the same thing we first write down all the prime numbers okay write them down as a product thus that just that we pick up the power which is the highest so in 7 and 1 which is the highest one it's 1 I put in 1 over here for 3 1 and 2 are the power which is more obviously 2 for 2 2 and 4 are the power which one do I put I put in the higher one so this gives me 7 times 9 times 2 to the power 4 will give you 16 right and the answer to this is 1008 so 1008 is the least common multiple of 84 and 144 again just to reiterate if you have to find out the highest common factor of two numbers what we do is once we have put in the composite numbers as a product of their prime we compare the respective powers of each of these prime numbers 
okay we write each of the prime numbers 7 3 2 then pick up the least power between the two numbers so 7 0 3 1 2 square whatever is the product that's the highest common factor for the least common multiple we pick up the same procedure just that the powers which are there are the ones which are the maximum and therefore you get your highest common factor and least common multiple